Hey guys, what's up? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new chapter or episode of Ruby Volume 8, which is on episode or chapter 12. Now, again, there were some scheduling problems for me, so you know, and maybe some other stuff, but that aside, um, yeah, if anything else, let's just get this started. I'll try to explain this in a different kind of way, because like, um, it was, the way how it was shown at the beginning and then somewhere to the middle, somewhere somewhere on the beginning it felt a little complicated so yeah so let's just start from there okay we have to it that there was one part um that that winter and meryl were actually in the elevator and winter ends up explaining to meryl that sh that she's not gonna arrest him and meryl's like why did you attack me and winter's like because you're about to be killed okay i, I wasn't just gonna let Iron shoot your butt down all right etc and we see to it that winter decides to contact her little sister and explain and maybe explain about the situation but we have to it that they end up showing right in front of crow and robin which apparently many people were speculating especially myself that in in last episode that that be winter and meryl you know and yeah winter gotten more help and we have to it that she sends a message to weiss and weiss gets the message and they end up making their plan of what to do you know we have to it that weiss ends up ends up talk Weiss and everyone else makes a meeting in the dining room, you know, etc. And we have to it that um, they they're gonna use they after much conflicting moments and trying to figure out what to do, they decide like we should use the staff to our advantage and use it what's inside, you know. Hopefully that can help us out. And we have to it that Ozpin decides to explain to everyone, hey, I got something big for you, okay? This guy has a character or personality, and he could create anything for you, but there's one problem though. You're going to have to give him blueprints, some kind of reference, something that could actually help him out. Because it's like this. You got to give him big details of how you want to create it, you know? Like, you know, blueprints, references, that kind of thing. Pretty much a layout of what you want, you know? And by that time, yeah. After much planning out and with the help of Whitley saying that there's some evacuations here and there, etc. With, along with Weiss and everything, they decided to go with the plan. And of course, this happened at the very beginning of the episode, you know? Where Ironwood and every and the Ace and the remaining Ace Ops are prepared to like and take in Penny and and Harriet's like you know what if those kids are there we take them down you know no questions no no games you know and we see to it that um that um that Ironwood gets some news about like um about Robin and Crow trying to escape or trying to stop the payload you know and we see to it that Winter will stay with Ironwood while the while the other three decides to go after Crow and Robin. And we see to it that the plan works. And we see that Penny shows up. But unfortunately there's one problem. That's not Penny. Ironwood and Winter were prepared to actually to fight Penny. But unfortunately that did not become the case. It was actually Emerald using her semblance. And kicking Ironwood. And get, getting everyone to team up on Ironwood. Winter on the other hand betrays Ironwood. Because you know she, 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 he, she knew that Ironwood is already out of his league. And... He's already lost it, you know, etc. And by that time, you know, they, it all took him a, 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 it all took him some effort to take him down here and there. And yeah, there was a lot of people who made a lot of comments saying that they they did not like this at all. But like, whatever, it is what it is, you know. So yeah, and we see to it that like um, Oscar ends up telling them, hey, you guys can go through the hole in Atlas, you know, where I where I created it, you know. So you'll be able to like enter the vault through there. And by that time, this gives him the time to actually open the vault and Ruby uses all of her powers to, her, to the best of her ability to grab the Staff of Creation. And we get to see um, a Jin, or a, a Genie, or Jin. Like, just like Jin, but he's a male version and he's all like buffed up or something. He ends up, they end up asking him to create something like Penny, you know, etc. Without the virus. The way how they were making the talk in the episode, or they were talking to the guy... It was a little complicated, so I decided to make it simplified for you. Pretty much, Ruby, Yang, Blake, and Weiss asked the staff of creation or the guy in it to create something like Penny, you know, without the virus. And although, like, um, he doesn't know what to expect, you know, they just t Ruby just tells him just be creative, you know. They gave him some references, the schematics, the blueprints, everything about Penny, you know, that's going to help him out from from big de from the littlest to the biggest detail to the smallest to the biggest detail as they can you know and I go like, oh that's pretty slick they finally got the idea thanks to Ospin giving them how to have them to help you out you know etc and we have to it that he ends up making 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 penny you know and we have to it that she actually has 
a real freaking human body instead, you know, instead of a robot one. Even Penny's like, hey, was this this warm? And as for her robot counterpart, that thing breaks down and self-terminates, you know, whatever the case may be. So, as for the... As for the rest of the episode, you know, we have to it that, um, whatchamacallit, um, we had to it that they decided to summon the, the guy again, and he goes like, oh, great, it's you guys again. But not before there was a scene where John was trying to make a message about, like, Atlas is gonna fall, you know, etc. But unfortunately, it got cut out, the signal got cut out, unfortunately. So, yeah, that really sucks very badly, really, really badly. And, yeah, pretty much, like, um... I don't know what happened, but I really hope Maria and Pietro are okay, whatever the case may be. So, we had to it that, um, like I said, Weiss and the others summons the guy from the staff again. He goes like, oh, it's you guys again. But, you know, they decided to ask him if you could, like, um, make some kind of portal or portal or transportation to one location to another. And he says, yeah, just give me the reference, you know. And, and the way how they explained it, or the way how I'm going to simplify it, it's like, Teleporting to one location and you go back to the other side, you go to vacuo. So pretty much Weiss and the others end up giving him the reference that he needed and he ends up making it right away and he gives him a warning about something about not falling, you know? The location not falling. And dire warning and then he's done. We have to it that it looks like things are, go are going to according to plan, but there's one issue though, you know? Cinder, she just showed up at the end of the episode getting ready to like, go in and she's hidden, you know? So that's another issue. Not to mention Watson, Neapolitan, etc. They are about to freaking like um make their move too. So that's only going to be even more troubling in the end. I don't know. But one thing for certain is that like um if I had to explain it and without a lot of complicated details is that... um. Winter decides not to arrest Meryl, decides to contact her sister, make a plan, and they end up managing to, like, um, whatchamacallit, um, let's see here, Jean, Ren, and Nora, along with, like, um, Oscar, and Winter decide to come along, decide to team up with them, decides to take down Ironwood, stop his madness, and Winter throws him in a jail cell, and, you know, there was a scene between Jacques Schnee and Winter Schnee, but I don't care about that, because that wasn't important, etc., all I know is one to tell Jacques, like, you better thank my sister, not me, because I not <laughs> etc. So, pretty much, like, um, yeah, Winter changed sides with the help of, like, planning things out with Crow and Robin, escaping, and then contacting her little sister, Weiss. And then, you know, with Os Ozpin and Oscar giving out the details of how to use the staff, they managed to save Penny of her original design or personality or soul, put her into a new body, and then leave the robot body, and then... Use the staff again to create something new to like teleport to one location and teleport to the other location and vacuo, you know? So yeah. I know what I'm saying is a little disorganized, but all I can really tell you, like, um, and repeating myself again, hopefully it doesn't give out too much um confusion. Winter changed sides with the help of with the help of Emerald, with the help of Emerald, John, Ren, Oscar, and Winter decides to team along, team along with them to take down Ironwood, you know, ca catch him off guard. While the Ace Ops are like tricked by um, Robin and Crow, and Meryl decides to use, stay on them, and you know, they freeze, you know, that kind of thing. And of course, the other, the other rest of the episode involves Team Ruby using the Staff of Creation to their advantage to save Penny and to save everyone from Atlas and Mantle and teleport them to one location and to the other location when going to the other side to vacuum, you know? So yeah, that's about it. But you know, Cinder shows up at the end end of the end of this episode, so it's not her it's not like she it's game over for her yet. Not to mention Salem. I don't know what she is right now, but I'm pretty sure she's rejuvenating or regenerating right now. But whatever the case may be, looks like things are looking hopeful, but let's not get too Distract on that since like we don't really know what's gonna happen in the rest. So until then people I'm sorry for being a little late and a little confused Confusing you here and there, but I did the best I can so until then I'll see you guys in the next video I'm off of zero. Have a good day. and I'll see you guys next time. All right. Peace out. Bye. Bye Toot, ta -da!